ஹாய் 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 வெல்கம் டு கோடை ஓ திஸ் இஸ் டே டூ ஆஃப் ஹண்ட்ரட் டேஸ் ஆஃப் கோட் அண்ட் ஆஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஒன்ஸ் சி தி வீடியோ அண்ட் ட்ரை அவுட் த கொஸ்டின் போஸ்ட் இன் லிங்க் அண்ட் ட்ராக் மி அவுட் அண்ட் ஐ வில் செக் இட் அவுட் ஓகே ஃபைன் லெட்ஸ் மூவ் டு டுடேஸ் கொஸ்டின் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் குவாய்ட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் கொஸ்டின் இட் சீம்ஸ் லைக் எ டிஃபிகல்ட் ஒன் பட் இட் ஆக்சுவலி இஸ் ரியலி சிம்பிள் ஸோ வி ஆர் கிவன் அ மேட்ரிக்ஸ் இட் கேன் பி ஆஃப் எனி சைஸ் லைக் இட் நாட் நெசரலி பி அ ஸ்கொயர் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் இட் கேன் பி ஆஃப் எனி டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் தட் டசன் மேட்டர் we are going to print this matrix in the snake pattern so what do we mean by snake pattern so uh, let me just draw a little uh, pattern here so you'll know what i mean by snake pattern is right so uh, like this is the way that we are going to print this matrix right so the first row we are moving from left to right and while printing the second row we are moving from right to left and uh, similarly for the consequent rows you are going to print left to right and right to left okay this is going to be the pattern that you are going to print this matrix in so uh, if you observe there are a few things that can be noted a few observations a few inference which will help you to solve this question right so let me just uh, first write the row and column number right this is row number 0 row number 1 and row number 2 right and uh, these are column number 0 1 0 1 and 2 but uh, it doesn't matter so what we are going to uh, observe is that for rows 0 and 2 you can see that the direction that we are printing the numbers is from left to right okay i think this is a bit bold uh, yeah so okay fine so for row row number 0 and 2 we are printing from left to right and for row 1 we are printing from right to left right so uh, here we just have a 3 cross 3 matrix so you cannot see further but in the pattern that i have drawn right so you can see this is row number 0 this is row number 1 this is row number 2 this is row number 3 so you can see that uh, rows 1 and 2 have the same pattern rows uh, sorry rows 0 and 2 have the same pattern and rows 1 and 3 have the same pattern so uh, if you keep on doing this you will observe a pattern that for even rows the pattern is that you print from left to right okay left to right and for odd number of rows you are going to print from right to left okay so this is the observation that you can make from this right so we are going to use this and uh, print this matrix okay we we can straight away go into the code because there is no, uh, nothing else uh, here to discuss uh, well how do we print a matrix exactly we are going to use a nested loop whenever we try to print a matrix and the number of rows right the order the order that we are going to traverse the rows is not going to change we are first going to print uh, row number 1 row number 2 row number 3 in that order that order is not going to change just the, just the direction from which we print the rows are going to change okay so the outside loop will be the same right because it is going to be 0 1 and 2 and so on fine to print the values or uh, to traverse column wise we use the inner loop right so that is going to change depending on the number of the row okay if it is a even row you are going to uh, make the loop go from 0 to n minus 1 and if it is an odd row you are you are going to make the loop go from n minus 1 to 0 i hope you will get a better idea if we try to code this straight away right so we'll uh, get into geeks for geeks and uh, try and solve this problem so uh, here we are we are given this matrix as input right and it is given as a, a two dimensional vector so it, it doesn't matter you can just straight away consider it as a two dimensional array it it, it, it essentially works the same right you don't have to worry about anything now we'll first find out the number of rows that we have right so int rows and it is equal to matrix dot size so since this is a nested matrix 
the uh, number of rows will be given by the size of the matrix itself or the size of the vector itself and to find the number of columns you can just find the size of the first element of this vector so the first element of this vector will be the first row of this matrix right so if you find the size of the first row it will give us the number of columns that the matrix has right so int calls equals matrix of zero dot size so this gives us the number of columns that the matrix has and instead of printing we are supposed to return a vector as the answer so i'm just going to create a vector called answer and it is just going to be of integer data type answer and there it is so now we can just consider it as uh, printing and uh, instead of the cout statement or uh, system.out.println we are just going to push it into the vector or the array list and just going to return it right so we can now go ahead and traverse this matrix so as we already discussed we are just going to use a for loop for that i equals 0 i less than rows i plus plus so this is exactly same as any other matrix problem right traversing the number of rows now the nested loop or the loop loop that comes inside this that is going to be different so what are we going to do uh, we are going to check the number of the row okay not the number of rows just the number of the row the current row right so how do we do that i is the iterative uh, variable that we are using to iterate through the rows so the number of the row is i okay so i i hope it is clear right so we are iterating through the matrix and i is the variable that we are going to use to iterate through the rows so the value of i will be the value of row okay so if i is an even number i mod 2 equals 0 we are going to check if i mod 2 equals 0 it means that i is an even number and we know that for even number of rows we are going to print it from left to right so we can just write a for loop j equals 0 j less than columns j plus plus and instead of printing we are just going to append it or uh, push it into the vector okay and matrix of i j okay so this is for even rows now for odd rows we are going to traverse from right to left so we can just go ahead and use else because if it is not an even number it definitely is an odd number right so again a for but here the j value should start from the highest value because we are traversing from right to left right so highest value of calls will be calls minus one because we are using zero based indexing and it can go up to zero right j greater than or equals zero and j minus minus because we are traversing from right to left okay now again we are just going to push it into the vector answer dot push back of matrix of i j right so this concludes our uh, code now we can just return the answer vector and i hope that is it now we'll try and execute this and we'll see if it works fine okay so this code is working perfectly fine and all 185 test cases have been passed so i hope you understood this logic try this question yourself uh, the link to this question will be in the description try it yourself and post it on linkedin and uh, let me know that you have done this question right so thank you so much for watching see in see you on uh, day three of uh, 100 days of code bye for now